Well, all right, everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the new collection or new update for Apex Legends and their new event, a crazy event. We got a new spot, a new area on the map, which is the whole crypto crypto spot. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, or just, I'm not even a fan of crypto, but yeah, there's a new crypto spot where you can see literally everybody in the map by pressing the button, pressing, uh, you know, something here, uh, in there, in that location. And you can see literally everybody on the map and it'll be highlighted there for anybody who's you know left or you know in the whole game in general uh and then uh there's like some buffs some debuffs and whatnot guys uh but we definitely got a new mode going in and that mode is armed and dangerous evolved it's basically armed and dangerous the like i think that's what the mode was before or i think it's armed i don't know but the point is guys the mode <clears throat> is shotguns and snipers only but with a twist and the little twist is that uh, you only play with the um the evo shields that's the only the only difference uh so uh, yeah so armed and dangerous evolved is the limited time mode it's gonna be on for 13 days yeah so that's happening uh i'll talk about some of the debuffs or buffs in a little bit but and also they'll be in the link down in the description for the full patch notes uh but for right now guys we're gonna see what's new uh in the our special offers we're gonna check out we guess we got some new skins there's a, obviously there's gonna be a collection a collection area i guess too i'm not sure right yeah yeah okay so it's yeah yeah gotcha gotcha all right so first off guys is the bloodhound and the octane stuff that's going on right here and you got skins for i think that's the what is this this is the devotion okay i've not used much much of that <clears throat> and we got the RA45. So there's that. And then you got like a lot of gold stuff. I I, I don't know how I feel about this whole gold situation. I never, I'm not, I don't like the whole Egyptian look of it. It's just, it's okay. It's not the greatest thing ever. But I mean, it looks all right. I mean, this looks pretty cool for Octane. Octane, they, they never go, they never um, do a bad skin for Octane. Octane has a good skins. And then Bloodhound looks pretty cool too. The Bejeweled skin. So that's nice. But yeah, we're definitely going to be checking out all of it in the Lost Treasures collection. And also, they have a new uh, heirloom for, uh, you know, the one and only Mirage. But, yeah, he's all special and everything. So, it looks cool. It looks cool. Not too bad. It looks all right. It's like a, just it's just a trophy. And if you zoom in. Oh, you can't really tell. Oh, this is right here. The best competitor in a battle royal. Wow. Based on skill, but mostly looks. Wow. So, that's pretty cool. But, I mean, in order to get that. Oh, it's going to take you a long time but but uh guys this is all the stuff that they added uh we're gonna see some new skins for the guns let's see look uh, i pretty much just don't get the whole pirate treasure uh event or just the whole pirate piratey treasure theme that they have going on in this season it just doesn't make sense i don't know just to me it just doesn't make sense but we got the new skin for the scout the tomb guardian and we got the casket decor for the devotion i believe it's oh no it's the spitfire my bad uh, and then we got to the dangerous game for the some machine gun, uh, the R99. And then we got the Prowler skin. This looks pretty nice, I guess. Yeah, the designs are pretty cool, though. I will say that. The designs are really dope. Uh, like this one. Then we got the Teal Zeal. See, this is a good skin. This is like something my friend would really like, a uh, sniper. We would really like the Teal Zeal. Uh, I, on the other hand, do not like the Flyline or don't use it, so... But it looks cool. It looks cool. Then we got a new, then we got a new skin for Wraith. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her here. Uh, yeah, see, I, I just don't get this. I just don't get this look of it. It looks she looks like a statue. Is that what the whole point is? The marble goddess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't get that one. That one looks okay. Uh, like this one, too. I mean, this looks all right. I mean, I really like uh, Revenant. He's my favorite. He's like my number one out of all the legends. But, um, yeah, I mean, even then, I mean, oh, I mean, he looks cool. I will say he looks cool. He looks dope. Yeah, he looks pretty dope yeah like if 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 the blue if i can change the blueness to like all of it being red then beautiful just beautiful but i mean blue's not bad blue's not bad blue works for me and it looks all right um then we got the gibraltar skin looks all right too not too bad a lot of gold a lot of blue uh, crazy uh the mirage or not the mirage the crypto skin uh you know he's got his mustache and everything looks okay i don't like crypto i don't like you crypto i'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not sorry what am i saying i just don't like them screw with crypto and you got lifeline over here guys uh she looks pretty nice too i mean she doesn't have too much to change except for the face paint and the um her health drone i think is that her health drone hmm 
yeah so there's that and then we got watson she's like a outlands explorer she looks all right she looks cool she she i like, I like her outfit she's, she's like like decked out and you know in gold or literally all her in like skin or she's like not mar made out of marble you know so yeah so watson's skin looks pretty dope i like her skin she has like investigator like two major look to it yeah she's just a yeah, she's an investigator. But then you got the Gas Buster Caustic skin, which does, uh, in hindsight, it looks pretty good. I mean, you look, look at his canisters. I mean, if that's how the, his canisters look. That would be awesome. But I don't know. It's just it's just all cosmetically or cosmetic. So, And then we got the Mirage one, which, uh, weirdly enough, um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with him. I mean, I mean is that gold? I mean... I don't know. It looks like it's gold and uh, just it looks just like a, it's like his basic skin, just with minor details change and then like the revolving lights in his suit or his outfit. But um, see, like this one, if they had something like this for Revenant, oh, that'd be dope. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. That, that, that looks pretty. That looks okay. It looks okay. Then you got the um, Bangalore skin. She looks. She looks cool too. She looks actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I do like the 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 color or the you know the the lights that are going around her outfits and or her outfit and then you got the purple and the gold yeah yeah this looks fine this looks pretty good actually I yeah this, this look that this doesn't look half bad actually it looks pretty sick I do like the Bangalore skin yeah she looks pretty awesome uh, but that's it for the legends I'm assuming yeah that's it for the legends everything else guys is new cosmetics for the weapon skins you got the hemlock I love the hemlock it's my gun it's my go to gun uh, yeah, this one looks nice. This one actually looks nice. So, not too bad. Uh, then you got the Alternator skin. Another one. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and then you got the Peacekeeper skin. Another one that looks nice. That doesn't look that bad. Then you got the Crimson King Wingman skin. Uh, yeah, it looks it has red on it. I like it. I like the eye. I think that's an eye. I don't know. Uh, then you got the other stuff, um, like poses and whatnot. Oh, this looks cool. What is this? Oh, that, that, that's actually dope. I like that one. I like that intro. I don't get I don't get why it's like that though. What does he do that? Like, is that like his ability? You know, I think that's his ability that he uses. The hack and slash crypto. Okay, but like, does he ever use that sword though? I don't know. Maybe one day he'll be able to use that sword. That'd be cool to have, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Then you got to spread the wealth, Watson skydive emote. That's nice. Uh, and that's it and then you got some charms and that's pretty much it guys uh they all cost roughly like 10 bucks or yeah 10 bucks or if you go down here these cost what oh they cost more 18 dollars so yeah you, uh they each cost 18 10 to like 18 or 20 dollars each so if you want to do that you can do that <laughs> that's a lot it's, it's just it's just too much and if you want to buy everything go for it or you can buy the packs but i mean the chances of getting good stuff is you just have to use up a lot of your money but that's pretty much it for that guys and the special offers so that's that but now we're gonna go to uh some of the patches that they did which is pretty dope I, I actually agree with some of the patches and some people might not agree or actually a lot of people don't like the patches that they changed or like to the legends and or you know guns and stuff like that they, they don't like what they did but we're gonna go check it out right now guys Okay, guys, so this is where we are on the event, like when it comes to some patches, we're going to read some of them real quick, not all of them, but I'll just point out some crazy ones that I thought was cool, uh, some that maybe people thought they didn't like, but I think it's all right uh, for some things, some things is good, some things is bad, whatever, but we already know about the Armin and Dangerous Evolved limit, Limited Time Event or Time Mode. Uh, just yeah shotguns and um, snipers and then with you just have you just everybody just spawns in with the Nemo shield and that's pretty much it but guys we also got mobile respawn beacons uh, basically they work like the um, like the overdrive like the ultimate overdrive accelerant or the yeah overdrive accelerant and uh, you just pick them up and then whenever you you have a dead teammate you just throw them in there and you throw it down and then it, uh, it'll drop from the from the skies and then you can just use it. It will drop like that. It will just drop. Uh, but there's also the Crypto Town Takeover. This is where it, like the the old gas station used to be. Now it's actually yeah uh, Crypto uh, Crypto Tower or Crypto Building. And that's when you go inside. You can go through the top. You can go through the bottom. There's gonna be like a tunnel that leads inside, guys. And you can go through the roof, I guess. This is this, this is I guess this is the roof. I don't know. 
but uh yeah and then right there you can literally it's at the edge of the map so maybe that's that the reason that's the reason why they, they said they put it there but like i said you go in there and you can start you can start the um the map locator or the lo the team locator i guess you can call it and then you can literally see uh, it's like a display and you can see the whole uh map or the whole apex map or king's canyon map and then you'll be able to see every single person in that game where they're located at that time and also for your teammates you press the start button to check your map or the back button to check your map and when you check your map like the normal map yeah you can actually see everybody in there too so it's insane uh and i think it's pretty op my friend uh some friends that i didn't think it was a good idea to do that uh some people don't like it or maybe people will like it i don't know i think it's just odd or just i don't know maybe I'm gonna, i don't think it's a big deal the reason why i don't think it's a big deal is because uh depending on the circle i don't i don't see the circle ending too many times in that area you know so maybe that's that's why i don't think much of it but i guess if people are, are outside the circle and want to take advantage of it you can go do it so but there's also like i said there's the heirloom right there boom there you go so it's kind of a cute little heirloom right there that he does or has right there that they gave him you know there you go look at this you can see the animation for it he, I don't know what it says, but uh, that's pretty much that. I mean, it's just, you know, Mirage being Mirage. And uh, here's here's the updates, though. We got a new uh, up update on Lifeline, and that's her uh, her passive. It also deploys a combat rewrite and replaces a combat meta. So basically, her little robot that um, you, she would throw, you know, or it would cover her while she quickly revives people. Yeah, that's not happening anymore. She throws the robot, and the robot will revive the teammate. With the, sh the shield still goes up. But it won't be fast. It will be like a normal revive. And then she will just uh, cover them or whatever. So, yeah. See, this fully replaces Lifeline's old passive, including fast heal. So, she doesn't heal fast anymore at all. Um, so, that's pretty much what that does. And then Lifeline's tactical cooldown is now 45 seconds instead of 60 seconds. Okay. And then her ultimate. Um, but this is a new thing for her ultimate. Now, in her ultimate, uh, her care package will contain three more small healing items when it decides to spawn small healing, uh, small healing items. But the care package will contain two more attachments when it decides to spawn uh, attachments. So, new stuff. Definitely new things going on here with her care package, which is awesome. I think that's pretty cool. But another thing is Octane. Octane is getting a new update, guys. Tactical. His tactical now, upon activation, Steam will remove movement impairing effects. So, basically, um, stuff that slows him down, like the gas or like the, um, I guess the watson stuff the electricity or whatever it is that's st or like the airstrikes uh, i guess um gibraltar's airstrikes stuff like that uh, that normally would slow you down if you're octane you use your shot you can just go super fast and run away there quickly like you're you're just i guess um i guess invulnerable to it now after you after you use the shot and then the sim printing speed is increased by 10 so now you're a little bit faster which you know he is the fastest uh legend in the game so and then the ultimate players can now double jump in midair after using Octane's launch pad, which is awesome. Players can change direction easily from the jump from the double jump. So basically, if you go forward, you because usually you jump forward, you know, to go ahead uh, faster. Uh, so now when you do that, you, when you uh, you'll be given a prompt of pressing A or um, or X, and then you can choose what direction you know you want to go to left, right, you know, back. I don't know, but yeah, you got that. But this is where I, it gets really awesome for me. It's the Revenant. Revenant's awesome. I like what they did with him. Um, so the tactical will now cancel the Pathfinder mid grapple. So he's grappling while he's like, you know, he's shooting, um, I guess, on the roof and he's trying to get to the roof. If I shoot him with his, with my, if I silence him, then his mid grapple will cancel that. And then also Wraith his mid phase walk attempt before phase walk activates. So basically, yeah, when she uses her phase walk and then she's running, trying to run away or whatever, uh, yeah, it will cancel it because that's what it's supposed to do. So. I guess before I didn't do that, but uh, also the tactical will now prevent the Mirage Cloak revive because I hate that. I, 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 it's not that I hate it, it's just the times where I, I was playing and then uh, and they got me, you know, he's reviving and it's just, it's just, it sucks, it sucks, but uh, you know, it's fine. But there's also the Mirage decoy control activation and also the lifeline combat revive, although those three will be uh, prevented by by Revenant's tactical, uh, the, or the silence, if you want to call it. Uh, but it's ultimate. This is where this is where it gets awesome. The ultimate, the range removed on death totem. So this is the thing that I didn't. I'm happy they did, but a lot of people, a lot of people, I guess, don't like that or I don't know whatever. But I I definitely like this because 
uh, there was a limit. There was actually a limit to the totem, which I think there there shouldn't have been ever. But I guess there was. I never noticed it when I used it a couple and many the many times I've used it. Until recently, I actually used uh, noticed because uh, we would use it from far from far away. Me and Sniper, my friend Sniper, or and or me and Mikey, we would always use it. We use it from the far away, and then when we and then when we grab it and we run to the enemy because you know we try to be sneaky. Yeah, there's a wall. There's a wall right there, and I was like, "Wait, what is that wall?" And I would go through it, and then boom, it would cancel. So now having uh, the range removed from the death totem is awesome. Uh, Crypto's tactical deploying the hack drones now takes 51.5 seconds, so it's less. And also the ultimate EMP will not disable Watson's pylon, so that destroys her uh, traps. So that's pretty cool. And also the um, the EMP thing that she puts down all will also be disabled, or I guess yeah, both of them. Uh, let's see some um, let's see some stuff now like with uh, with uh, the guns. I'm interested with the guns So zip line because this is a big thing that I thought was also interesting was the havoc rifle Really increased horizontal recoil and so I'm happy about that because people were starting to use the havoc rifle quite a bit And it's really crazy strong and super fast and it also decreased this ma the magazine to 28 So that's cool too. Uh, it finishes pretty much faster. I guess uh, I use it a couple times. It's pretty good uh, it was pretty OP, honestly, when, especially if you have like an alternator or if you have like a 301 and you're fighting a person that has the Havoc, oh, you're going to get wrecked. Or if he, if he hits all of your shots perfectly, yeah, you're going to get wrecked. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm glad they changed that. So it's a little bit more jumpy, recoily. Uh, the Sentinel recharge time, uh, rechamber timer, so it's, uh, one point, it's like slightly less and the energized duration is more. So that's good. Uh, teammates can now ping a friendly caustic trap. Okay. A uh, new health bar for when users are in Revenant's shadow form. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And then the wrap rotation times are now even even between King's Sky. Okay, so that's good. That was another thing. Though, so yeah, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Um, Yeah, that's it. That's it for the updates, guys. Everything else that's going to be, or that's there on the you know, patches list or the patch um, site, I'll put it in the description down below. You can check it out to see all the fixes they did to the some, some of the legends, I guess. Um, just little fixes that they needed to fix or mess around with so you guys can check that out in the description Also in the description guys is the link to my twitch you can follow me there guys for when I stream It's gonna be awesome you guys can tell me hello there and say what's up But uh, yeah that's it for the update for this new uh, season uh, event Season event I guess or limited time event uh, The lost treasures so it's gonna be cool playing this and seeing what the new stuff um, The new area I guess uh, provides you with and uh, checking everything out uh, everything out besides that you know the new stuff the new or how it will change the gameplay because you know like lifeline and other stuff like revenants new things you know and whatnot or is change to his totem and stuff like that so all that stuff is gonna be cool uh definitely gonna give you, get you guys some gameplay um we're playing later today so we're definitely gonna be doing that uh but yeah so definitely gonna be getting you guys some more gameplay or gameplay on this uh and other stuff and more vids coming out so that's gonna be fun guys uh, if you guys did enjoy, press the like button, guys, and uh, that's going to be it. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Take care, guys. Stay amazing, and I'll see y'all with the next video.